Thursday, guys. This is another Thankful Thursday. And today, just want to talk about being thankful for the hope of future glory. All right. So let's check out this video. Hey guys, this is Jorena here again, and this is another Thankful Thursday. And today I want to talk about our, the hope of future glory, you know, just to be thankful for that. And I know, you know, us believers, I'm sure we are thankful for that, but just wanted to remind us of that and encourage us to continue to keep that in our focus. Now, uh, today, this Thankful Thursday is actually going to be the last one for a while, probably. Uh, so just want to kind of end it with the whole hope of glory, of future glory, okay? So I want to go over a few scriptures and, you know, I am just so thankful and so I am anticipating the day that I stand before the Lord. You know, I cannot wait until this life is over with. Uh, and no, I'm not like suicidal or depressed. I don't think I'm depressed, but I do look forward to the day that I don't have to deal with the flesh. I don't have to deal with sin, my sin, nobody else's sin, you know, even the fallenness of this world in general. I can't wait till this is all over with. I, I really can't. I'm looking forward to that glorious day. Sometimes I try to think about how will it be uh, when I stand before the Lord. And even when I try to imagine it, I think, oh, it has to be greater than that. So <laughs> can't wait till that day come. So I want to mention some scriptures and just encourage us to uh, be just thankful and in anticipation for that glorious day when we see him as he is. All right. So let's look here at, uh, let's look at, um, first Peter one, three through four. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading kept in heaven for you. Oh my goodness. You see that? Man, nothing can get in the way of, of what he has planned for us. You know, I'm just so happy for that. And then what about our citizenship? Philippians 3.20, it says, Our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. You see that? So, you know, we are really foreigners here. We're aliens. We're just uh, pilgrims passing through here. This is not our home. We our, our actual home awaits us after this is over with. So, I, I just, I am so encouraged by this great hope um, and promise from our Lord. And then let's see here. Uh, there's another one I want to mention. Titus 2.13, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am looking forward to that day. And then, of course, Romans 12.12, 12, rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. So, you know, as we face things in this life, you know, I've often said that uh, life is hard and it's harder for some than others. It just is. Um, but we have a blessed hope that goes beyond this life. Our lives are actually hidden in Christ. So no matter what we face here, you know, the main things that you face even in this life is uh, sicknesses, um, relationship issues, financial issues, you know, things of that nature. Uh, but one day we won't have to face any of that. And then, you know, the scripture, um, second Corinthians four, 17 and 18 for this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. You see that? So even the things that we're going through here, it really can't be compared to the glory See, that will be revealed in us. It, it, it can be compared to that. So I just want us to be encouraged by, by this great truth. Um, and then I just mentioned that when I stepped ahead of myself, but Romans 8, 18, the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. You see that? Absolutely. And then um, let's see here. Um, and then one of my favorites here. A Revelations chapter 21, I, of course, like that. I love that whole chapter. But verse four, it reads, he will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. You see that? Absolutely beautiful. I just love that. You see that great hope that we have. And then, of course, um, this is uh, 1 John 
3 and 2 reads, Beloved, we are God's children. Now, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. Oh my goodness. That right there just, it gives me chills because it's just really something to look forward to. And I'm just so grateful that the Lord has prepared a place for us. And, you know, it's not that um, because we've done such a great job or that, you know, we're a big deal, but it's because he has decided to give us eternal life. You know, in the book of John, and I'm paraphrasing, the Lord said that um, basically those that belong to, to, to him, he gives us eternal life. Isn't that wonderful? Such a wonderful, wonderful thing. And so I just want to encourage all of us to just continue in the Lord, continue to believe and trust in our Savior, knowing that we have a greater hope. We have a blessed hope that one day we will be with him and we'll see him in peace on top of it all. Isn't that something? Isn't it something to know that as we are going through the sanctification process and none of us are perfect, none of us dot all the I's and cross all the T's. None of us, you know, is is 100% on anything. It's his grace that as we're here, he makes us more like him, but he has actually made us new. And then when this is all over with, we will actually see him in peace and see him as he is and have our glorified bodies and be with him forever, you know? And what's amazing to me is that None of us are perfect. So we kind of like, we don't really even deserve that. You know what I mean? But the Lord has made it, made a way for us to have this inheritance. Isn't that something? I'm just so, I am so grateful and I'm so thankful for that. And so I just want all of us to just be encouraged by this great hope that there is a day of glory. All right. And while we're here, he takes us from strength to strength and glory to glory. But man, when this is all over with, What a glorious day that will be. You see that? All of us believers, all of us that the Lord has made possible for us to love him, we get to be in this love fellowship with him forever, you know, without all this other stuff of this world. I I look so forward to that day. And so I just want to encourage all of us that, you know, like I said, life's hard sometime and, uh, And, you know, while we're dealing with this world, this life, while we're dealing with conflict and situations and disappointments and things like that, I want us to be encouraged by what we have to look forward to. The Lord has promised us this. He has promised us peace with him forever. So that's greater than anything that we could face in this life. All right. So be thankful for this future hope of glory. All right. So happy for this. So, so happy. So be encouraged, guys. And I I know I am very encouraged about this. So just want to leave a few words of encouragement and highlight those scriptures. So be thankful. Be thankful that one day this will be all over with. And I know it's kind of challenging, too, to be, I guess, to rejoice about it. Because in essence, uh, you know, we all have to exit this life to get to that point, right? So it's almost like, well... You know, do you look forward to dying per se? And I get it. Uh, Nobody looks forward to dying. I would say that I don't look forward to the process of dying, but I do look forward to this being over with. I do. So be encouraged by this great hope that one day we will see him as he is. We will be made like him, right? And we will see him in peace. And every day, will be glory, glory, glory. All right, guys, continue in him in Christ alone. God bless. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you liked anything you heard, please like, subscribe. All right. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. All right. All right. Thanks again for watching. You guys be blessed.